Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price? Let us see what the postman brought today. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. Another letter from Werner. I never reply, but they keep coming. I don't see the Strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the prep. A cactus spot. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Get the strand. Get your cup. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Glassed. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that... Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by... Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a... All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears. If you have more shillings. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Come that, Mr. Holmes. Murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, Get the strand. also has his Get your copy of the strand here. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. Mr. Barnes, a word. <gasps> Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right question.
questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job... Finest view London has to offer. The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses? Our national emblem. God save the It queen. must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? My condolences, Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Holmes? Your husband's death. You're clearly still in mourning. Oh, no. I loved him more than anything, of course, but that was some time ago now. Life goes on. A lesson. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? What? Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes, no.
Hmm. I, uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know what... You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue, and then... I couldn't read this morning's edition of the... Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured... As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you. That... Yes. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Well, that was an utter waste of time. And a set. Not much further now. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation? Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course. Why has the police department decided not now? I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man... Tell me about Kimi here. His fa... When did you last see your servant? Kimi here normally brings me the... May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you, sir... Is there any reason Kimi here may have left? I take it this is the first time Kimi here... Did Kimmer here make off with anything of value? All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall... <laughs> Chewing tobacco. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn-out sole. These are a workman's boots. like a knee print. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes. To read the ground like an open book. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Scrap of Hessian.
These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. A small navy spy. Button chops, the remains of a meal. Heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. The ashes That's are long since cold. Are not caught here. A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Clothes made of Hessian. Is Stenwick really so miserly? Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit, or something else? Either way, it's giving me chills. Rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. He seemed unfazed by his bed. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize... The door to your garden has an interest. Has Kimmer here ever indulged in tobacco? Do you happen to know Kimmer here's shoe size? I have left these tracks. They seem fresh.
Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden.
Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. I found the residue of narcotics in Kimahir's br- I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimahir. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you- I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you that... Roy Soulsby. That be the name of our man. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Sturdy. Then we're in agreement. Well done. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's cart, I gather. A large pile of horse droppings. Many cigarette butts. Someone stood here for hours. There was a cab waiting here. Our abductor slipped in and then off into the night. Strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident, Doctor, do you recall? The Port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab there.
Where to go? The Port of London, please. I will. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. establishment I've seen worse greetings miss I'm hoping you can help us we shall soon see Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all, in a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? We must go. Oh, no. No chance of a pint, then. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked him. Are you familiar with a Roy Salisbury? Could you help me? I think I can help you. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Um. Where did you last see Girves? He was. 
you still have the necklace that Soulsby gave? How would you describe this Soulsby? He would. Don't go anywhere. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? Are you able to help me? I think I can help you. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy... Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I... Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You say we are not the first to ask you about... And this woman can be found? No clue. Now, where was I? Have you seen this before? I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girve. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I shudder to ask, but where does...
What are you gawping at? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. W what makes you say that? How do I fit in all this? Sorry, you lost me there. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. It's true. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on. I have nothing more to add, sir. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? A customs officer, Roy Salisbury, testified that Summers was... If the missing do not concern you, then I would... Er Are you threatening me? Many people are missing, and the main suspect... Now, spare yourself the trouble, and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summer's hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people. Five shillings. That won't go far. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. What did you see of Summer's work here?
planks were broken with force. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. couple of marks on this end. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. Good quality, but torn in many spots. Well-oiled and well-maintained. Fit for a crank. Passage, just as I expected. Wait here, Watson, and keep. Will do. Wait, what's happening? What? What 
is this place? Where am I? Strangely cold. Something is missing. This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? No! Phew. I didn't die. It is up. No! My heart, be calm. Somewhere else. How? It's harder to breathe here. What is that?
head is already spinning. When will this end? Oh, that is truly revolting. I... did I get out? What is it, Holmes? Watson! Holmes, where are you? Fine. Granafa, Cthulhu, Rilia, Waganagal, Fatagan. What? What on? What on earth? How is that possible? His abdomen is severely bloated. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set.
This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. An American passport, Amos Colby. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. I've never seen a pattern like this before. Old blood stains. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Fine rope work, cut by a finer blade. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? Looks like the scribbling of madmen. <laughs> A small blood stain, but not serious. scratches left in a frenzy. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Dumpra, a staple of Lecturemen's attire in Nepal, gathered from dozens of people at the very least.
Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. Happening, Holmes. Calm yourself. It cannot be. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to invest. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not... Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mr. That man... Well, the, the real Amos. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't. Herr Corby, from Northwood Agent. <clears throat> now, now, let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Corby. My methods are rough.
This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. Build up a tolerance. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. The final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. Dirty. I might borrow it. What was that? Is someone there? You there! I command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor bold. John Sallow, the Tulpa Phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. of varying diameters. Interesting. A certificate of appreciation from the Municipal Councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. A simple toolbox yet capable of repairing anything. Looks like it's still operational. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. I can make out the names listed here. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? This should suffice.
I'm sure I heard something. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. Manufactured and packaged here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. from your skull with my fingernails. Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands, just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So... So you're Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. Good lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. Fabric burnt in the furnace. A jala beer. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. Make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Tell me all you know about those fun... Professor Gygax seems to rule this... How did you end up in Block B? The no have you ever met Professor Becker? I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. These are the same crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. I 
I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This is the same design as the one from London. This trip was prolonged and perilous. Bottle this dirty doesn't break by accident. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. Doors can be open for deliveries. were back through these doors and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. The dirty, exhausted and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's Door. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. for what they did to hide
I found Hell's Door, the one that made the foreigners... Leave it with me, Gerda. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right, Heidi. Everything. Goethe, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Shut your dirty little mouth, Goethe. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped. Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? That's not true. You, Gerda... Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your... But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is...
At last, you came to your senses. My humble... Psst, Watson, over here. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost. Perhaps I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. Did a child make these? Ah, Dr. Watson. Just a... I think, once a soldier, always a soldier. So when I read about the Black Adel Vice and your work on... I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. You are Mr. Wolf, am I right? Oh, help.
Hello again. You won't remember me, but... Dear Professor Gygax, I bitterly regret... You are not, as you so claimed, the future. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It Close, but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. The tooth of an adult male, likely lost in a beating a couple of days old. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Dear God, is that... body parts? Utterly inhuman. Looks as if it's been recently used. Dynamo machine. 
provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps, impossible to escape. A very professional brain dissection. of my head your mind the light of the abyss is the light from the abyss oh. get out of my head a hydraulic elevator how ingenious Watson? Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. <laughs> the pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The patients here wear the same robes. <laughs> Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy re- There's nothing in this world that cannot be explained. Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get... Good Lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E.W. Gray. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? 
Auction's back. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Holmes, over here. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have... Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby will be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Is this familiar to you? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still over. Locked. Loser. No one's here. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. This place has a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Court of Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Oh, great, so I look like a haggard alcoholic. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. America, Holmes. I never thought I should be so lucky as to visit. Truly, a change of scenery does poems. Watson, time is of the essence. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Where's my cash, Frank? In a bartender's tip jar? Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are, shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Heavens, I have never seen Jeff so big. I simply This might be useful, I'll make a note. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Great. Forgive my curiosity, but it was... These gems are rather curious. What can you... 
It doesn't say where these stones came from, no. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think... Of course I know you, Sheriff. Good. Now, while I have you... I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. No, no! Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We just got it back in order. Oh, bollocks. Now our clothes are in the bloomin' water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have... John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll have you over to the sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Oh, go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, Oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? Hush now.
can I ask you a question? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. Got a spot in mind. French Quarter, and get us there fast. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Corona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and some of my lowest moments. Lord, help me. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river. Along with all our clothes, books, tea. This must be the key to the stables. The poor animal has been suffering for days. It's dehydrated, Holmes. Without water, it will die. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. This might be useful. saved. Smell that, Holmes? Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything.
Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage. Extremely sharp and deadly. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. We used kitchen towel. few drops of blood, but not from a mortal wound. <laughs> the candle was burning when it fell. The trail of wax leads to the door. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. burnt papers, now completely unreadable. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. His corneas are already clouded. A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. Mr. Arneson with his prey. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it.
Note the blade, Watson. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. He looks more like a son than a servant. Arneson and Davy, 1881. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. Dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson.
intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden. Size 10, the owner's footprints were shallow. Size 10, the heels were sinking into the ground. Look here, Doctor. Two sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Precisely. We'll make a detective of you yet, Watson. Luxurious shoes, size 9. <laughs> These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke, but I don't see the thumb or middle finger. <laughs> Boots, size 10. <laughs> Look, Watson, animal prints. I wonder what kind. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. Get your marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. Doctor? Watson, speak to me. How is she? We were just in time, Holmes. You lay. If my deductions are correct, Davy Lo. Davy! 
Ivy. Oh, come here, you! Davy seems in good health. The bruise is a remnant of... Let's take a closer look. These should come in handy. The scene is impossible, unnatural, but also familiar. Dense and disturbing notes. It's hard to follow. The foreigner's clothes, by the looks of things from the Near East. Cut and polished, easy to sell.
Arneson's signet ring, as we saw in his portrait. My princess, my love, my heart. Fitting words. Isn't that interesting? Hello again, Lucy. Davy, we know that Ashmat is responsible for what happened here. Got a spot in mind. New Orleans port, and quickly. Innocent slaughtered, a woman lynched, a boy forever traumatized. I fear we've crossed the Rubicon, Holmes. Davy is resilient, much like Eula. They will overcome this. You're right, but I worry this portends far worse for us. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Johnny boy, so how was it with champagne? Lucy, we only mean to help. No word.
The man in this letter seemed ready to declare his feelings for This photo of you and Mr. Arneson suggests... Arneson definitely paid for a ring in your... The facts are clear. You know Mr. Arneson and... Again, and thank you. Your last tip proved it. Wouldn't you know it, I came across a bottle of your namesake. One last favor. The boat that we came on is to leave tomorrow. Escape? One cannot be hurt by superstition, Walter. Look, Holmes! Fireflies! like a professional, Watson. University of London Boat Club. Silver medalist, 1874. <laughs> what was that, Holmes? Whatever or whoever it was, we should ready ourselves. Am I hearing drums? Drums in the bayou? Underneath our boat. <laughs> Probably just a rotten log. Did you hear that, Holmes? What do you see? A shadow. Nothing more. Binned your paper that we'd end up fleeing the law in a rowboat through the Louisiana Bayou. <laughs> I dare say you would have hardly been surprised.
her almost suffocating. The stench of death. All too familiar now. Weeks of damp. We're more likely to sink in there than on our boat. Let's go. Hand me the rifle. I can shoot the ropes holding a few of those... Watson, stay calm, but be quick. An alligator has noticed us. That's... that's vicious. That's nature, Watson. Let's try not to annoy them. That pier looks promising over there, Watson. We're approaching the heart of darkness. This place gives me the shivers, despite the muggy night. Smell of burning flesh, just horrific. Keep away from it, focus on our task, so we may soon leave all this behind. Days old and rotten. Damp and moldy hay. The prisoners were kept like animals, slowly deteriorating under the gruesome treatment. A heavy weight scored impressions in the ground one inch deep. The wood is swamp cypress, endemic to the area. The blood is dry. The axe has not been used for some time. A simple rope. This is how those poor people were crucified. The initials EA are embroidered with silk thread. Prisoners' clothes tossed aside.
Thankfully, it's not Arneson. The hand tied here was bleeding in four places. This had to have been Arneson. That's a lot of blood, but probably not enough to be fatal. Both ends of the rope were cut cleanly. The captive was dragged through hell. This is not Arneson, just another unfortunate soul. Thankfully, Arneson isn't among the dead. tracks lead behind the stone slab. Only this indentation was spared from blood. Blood was poured over someone, leaving a gruesome silhouette. Bowls filled with blood. Jim's left hand clawed at the soil. Sunken heels, the result of dragging a heavy body. The bloody handprint on this stone lacks four fingers. Arneson was held captive in this cage until his abductors tied him to a cross and dragged him to the bonfire. Arneson was left hanging here for a while before being freed and led to the altar. At the altar, Arneson's captors performed a ritual on him and poured blood over his head. With Arneson now prepared, he was escorted to the sealed entrance. They used the mechanism with an indentation to open the passage.
heavy and covered in blood. Darn it. Something is wrong with my lantern. Give me a minute. I won't wait for you. I'm going in. and not in a pleasant way. What's on Earth for? that glow again. I 
that was all. I can't take it anymore. At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Holmes, what are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did... The unknown, <laughs> beckoning, great one, lightning! I should examine him before he has another seizure. Blunt trauma to the cranium, dilated pupils, lips moving without a sound. Cold sweat. Two, no, three ribs fractured. Severed fingers, the wounds are inflamed. Pulse is racing, 110 beats a minute. Arneson is delirious after all he's endured. We can't get him to the boat in a state like that. It's dangerous to us and him. <laughs> Some kind of Amanita mushroom. Extremely poisonous. Pokeweed berries, though they appear harmless, the whole plant is lethal. Pharmacopoeia. Listing drugs, effects, and directions for use. Odorless, watery, and hard to identify. <laughs> Salvia divinorum provokes visual hallucinations. This is Dwale, induces sleep and relaxation. A gluey decoction. The smell is herby but sharp. It appears burnt, judging by the color. This should help soothe Arneson. I see. Uh... <sighs> 
I need some fresh air. <laughs> yes, please go. I'll be right behind you with Arneson. Perhaps you can prepare the boat. Among the living. Who's there? Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend... Scotland by the strand for the details. Cool, thank you, sir. It has been a while, Barnes. Dr. Watson. Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for trans... Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light? You take care. Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Feats of lighthouse engineering. Someone is full of pep. Oh, uh, yes. Doctor?
Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes. You have been of great help, so, yes. Ex Mycroft, here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction. Oh, speaking of the crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires. I'm all ears. For your eye. A wasp's nest. They might attack if someone draws too close or are otherwise provoked. Much like London itself. Royal Berkshire Regiment. His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. Only his right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the war. Capital M, signed by someone who's a The spyglass was positioned to watch the windows of the embassy across the road. A map of possible routes taken from the embassy. I thought only Sherlock was capable of this kind of deduction. I'm sorry I have bad news. Please do not... No, nothing suspicious. It was just an unfortunate... Translation. Barnes will... Sherlock. What is it? I find myself burdened. It will come as... I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw... Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can... Uh... The door won't budge.
Ouroboros, a snake eating itself, an ancient symbol of eternal renewal. Fresh marks, something scraped along the stone. This door requires a very specific key. An old cannon, probably rusting here since the 16th century. Where did the shirt come from? Holmes, look, there's a body here. Not just any body, body it's Ashman. Touch. He died recently. Scratches, bruises, and stabs, all self-inflicted. Oh, his eyes are gouged out. The infamous curved dagger. It's tied firmly to his hand. A broken chain. Something was attached to the end. But he succumbed to all those wounds. This branch was recently broken. The wood is still green. A human-sized imprint. Someone fell on their back. Whatever Ashmat had secured to his chain, he lost it here. Scratches. This medallion saw frequent use. Interesting occult pattern. What drove him to this dreadful act? I fear we are about to see for ourselves. This vessel is covered in dried blood. Oh, I get it. We need fresh blood. And no, I'm not volunteering. Fear not. I think Ashmas can help. Anything to hold blood, Watson? Fine, take my flask. The lever doesn't want to stay on its own. Watson, hold the lever for me. I must investigate. Holmes, watch out! My lever went back up! The doors, Watson! Hold the doors! Ah! We're trapped! Now what? Look around. There must be something we can use. Those holes seem to have a purpose. 
But I won't risk my arm to find out what. Ready for anything, Watson? It's all right, Watson. It's merely a chest with coins and a dagger, made of obsidian by the looks of it. It's ancient, though still working. Use these with care. Let us be the first adventurers to raid a tomb without destroying it. Terrific. Now, onward before they close again. Let us hope our paths converge, Holmes. Is that you, Holmes? The abyss. Uh -huh. Holmes! Help me. Holmes, speak up! Help me. Holmes! Holmes! Speak up! Help me! I'm coming! John! John! Holmes! Holmes, come on, wake up! Careful, Holmes. We are 
all entranced, captivated by the light of the lens. Sherlock, don't touch it. We still don't know what it is capable of. The base appears to rotate. Hands off, Holmes. We have no idea of its purpose. Black, metallic, and with a characteristic hue. Obsidian yet again. The sheer form of it, the color, it makes me feel uneasy. This material feels very sturdy. It would take an enormous effort to break like that. That's it! You did it! The lens broke! John, the worshippers, we need to make sure... Of course, I'll see if they're alright. At least this awful mask is breathable. Her chest is moving fast. She's hyperventilating. Check her pulse, can you, Watson? As expected, the pulse is elevated, but within normal limits. Stop there, shipmates! A storm away! Watson, you killed him! I... I didn't have a choice. Well, what... I know this company. They make Fresnel lenses, essential for any modern lighthouse lantern. Pay for padding. They didn't want their cargo damaged. They modified the gallery and watch room. It seems they have placed beam emitters all over the main gallery. Khalid lenses are placed inside the lantern room. One moment, Watson. I'll redraw this blueprint.
not a part. Look at them all. We have to help them. Watson, stop. Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay. to anything, Lord Rochester. You are blind. Oh, how? How could you? It is what I do. No. How could you be so ignorant? For I have never seen more clearly than in this... Something beyond the capacities of... But so familiar. Yes, I see it. It's completely broken. Something is missing here. Interesting. This could prove useful. What are you hoping to achieve? I... I am afraid that it will cost me my son.
truly believe it. It's... It's real. Maybe your god is unstoppable, but you are... Apologies, did I rouse you? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. No, no. no. The sound of your keys it is my tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your vision...